This betta keeper took his betta fish to a veterinarian for treatment of vertical death hang disease. In this video, you will find out what is vertical death hang condition and how he saved his betta fish from it. Let's get started. This incident happened in South Florida, USA. The pet keeper purchased this betta fish two weeks ago and introduced it into an existing 15-gallon community tank that also houses neon tetras, black mollies, and nerite snails. Initially, the betta was doing perfectly fine in the tank. However, things changed when the betta started hiding more than usual. The next morning, the owner woke up to find the betta fish swimming head up at the top of the tank, with its fins clipped to the side. The betta fish was swimming vertical and was unable to swim normally, even when he tried to help it. Despite not being bloated and not showing any signs of pine coning, the betta's swimming had gotten so bad that the owner decided to take it to the hospital. Now, let's see what the real disease in betta fish is that can cause such an impact. What is vertical death hang? In betta fish, vertical death hang is a concerning condition that causes fish to swim vertical, with their heads upwards rather than horizontally. This behavior is abnormal and usually indicates that the fish is ill or experiencing some form of distress. There are many reasons why this can occur, such as swim bladder disease, poor water quality, temperature, overfeeding, pH level, and so on. Neglecting their needs can cause them to exhibit dangerous behaviors such as the vertical death hang. If you observe this behavior in your betta fish, it is crucial to take immediate action to address the underlying issue to keep your betta fish healthy and happy. One of the primary causes of a betta fish hanging vertically is poor water conditions. Toxic water can cause an infection in the fish's swim bladder, making it difficult for the fish to float in the right position. Another possible cause is a small tank, which can lead to cramped living conditions. Temperature is also crucial for betta fish. They require warm water to stay healthy, and if the temperature is too cold, it can cause this impact. Overfeeding is another issue that can cause betta fish to hang vertically. Betta fish's natural diet consists of insects and larvae with higher moisture content. When you fed dry foods like bloodworms and pellets, overeating can cause swelling, leading to pressure on the swim bladder and ultimately causing the fish to hang vertically. Lastly, the pH level of the water can be a contributing factor. A pH level below 6.8 or above 7.5 can lead to this behavior. Let's now watch the entire video which includes the conversation with the veterinarian, their diagnosis, and the treatment applied to this betta fish. So they're all pre-dosed. We have two injections. One of them is for pain. The other one is the antibiotic, okay? The antibiotic you're gonna keep frozen. You see it has big bale sticker, stickers on it. Keep frozen. Once you've defrosted it, oh, once you've defrosted it, you're just gonna push the medicine till it gets up to the top. You don't have to fill the needle, but you do wanna kind of push that till it gets up to the top. It's a teeny tiny amount. And so we're going to get that ready, and then we're going to grab out our other pain medication. Again, that one's pre-dosed. Then, add fishy fish. I like to keep them in a net, just because it gives you kind of something to keep them in. Oh, Ooh. you're going to be so upset. Yeah, and generally there's like this nice like dorsal muscle that's kind of along the mm -hmm. side. Like literally just the muscle up top. You just poke barely in there and yep. squirt it in, and that's you it. You just need the tip to go okay. in, that's yeah. it. Like literally a millimeter. Just, yeah, yeah, like if you look, I don't know if you can zoom in, but do you see where the bevel ends? It's kind of a, yeah, an angled it. spot. That's all, that's all, all the deeper that you need to go in. Okay. Literally, you're gonna go, and you'll kind of feel it kind of pop through. Uh -huh. that's and that's the second one? And yep. it goes, that's the second one. Okay, perfect, thank you guys. Now, I'd like to discuss the cost of this treatment and the details of how Betta Fish's health was improved. But before we do that, please consider subscribing to the channel and clicking the like button to help spread this video to as many betta fish lovers as possible. When this pet owner shared his experience with a vet hospital, he explained that he paid $90 for the initial consultation. After waiting for about 5 hours, the vet examined the betta fish and diagnosed it with a bacterial infection, which was causing flaring gills and a clouded eye. The medication prescribed for the betta fish cost an additional $25, which included two shots that day, one being an antibacterial and the other an anti-inflammatory. The vet also warned that the betta fish could have died if treatment was delayed any further. The doctor suspected that the dramatic change in water quality between the supplier and the tank might have caused the infection. In summary, the pet owner spent $115 on emergency services for his betta fish to save its life. After a few hours, the betta fish was no longer exhibiting the vertical death hang, and it started swimming normally. For further updates and progress, 
the Beta Keeper plans to keep his followers updated on what the Beta fish are doing in the future. Honestly, not many Beta Keepers take their fish to receive treatment at a hospital. As responsible pet owners, it's essential to recognize when our pets need professional medical care, and this was one of those instances. I must say, this Beta fish is one lucky fish living its best life. Big kudos to the pet owner. I have provided his Reddit account details here, so you can follow this Beta fish's progress more closely. If you found this video helpful, please show your support by clicking the like button. Your likes help this video reach more people who share our passion for Beta fish and spread this valuable information even further. Thank you for watching this video. I see you again in the next awesome video, just like this one. Peace.